Tor M2D2. For a change, let's talk about Russia's weapons. Tor is a tactical anti-aircraft missile system for all weather conditions. The Tor M2D2 system you see on the screen is the version used in the Arctic. The combat vehicle is installed on the DT-30 tracked transporter. This missile system was first shown in 2017. The first vehicles were launched in November 2018. The video shows the launch tests of Mosquit missiles carried out in the Sea of Japan. They were carried out by the Pacific Fleet. Another drill was conducted by the Northern Fleet. Here, the Tor M2D2 performs trial shots in the Novaya Zemla archipelago. This is the first time that the new missile system performs combat training tasks in the Arctic. The Tor M2D2 is designed to protect air borders in extreme weather conditions. Laws In the conventional sense of the word, a weapon protects or does damage using a high-velocity projectile. It can be a cartridge, a bullet, a missile, a shell, a grenade, or almost anything. However, it turns out that this has a significant disadvantage, the high cost of projectiles. Laws is a fundamentally new and modified weapon. The idea of its creation arose relatively recently. The US Navy ordered laws in 2010. The initials stand for Laser Weapon System, and at the same time sheds light on the essence of the design. It is a directed energy weapon. It uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array, whose firing energy can be adjusted. In other words, it's a weapon that doesn't require projectiles. Laws is designed to protect warships from unmanned boats and drones. The laser is able to blind control systems. It's also capable of causing physical damage to attackers. Most importantly, each shot costs less than a dollar, and this is very little by military standards. Mission Master The main advantage of this robotic complex is its multifunctionality. Mission Master is a transport, combat, and exploration system, all at the same time. But don't let its humble dimensions confuse you. While some companies develop bulky destructive equipment, others are working to make it easier for people to perform combat and rescue tasks. One of these companies is Germany-based Rheinmetall Defense, which created Mission Master. In fact, this is a wheeled and remote control platform. At the top, there's a large deck to secure the cargo and equipment. The maximum weight this machine can withstand is 600 kilograms. Multifunctionality is possible with the help of removable modules that are installed on the platform. For example, an optical system or a telescopic pole with a camera for real-time observation. It's also possible to install a combat module with a machine gun or a grenade launcher. The ground speed is 40 km per hour, and the water speed is 5 km per hour. Bell V280 Valor Finally, we have an invention that's not a weapon in the traditional sense of the word. The Bell V280 Valor is a converter plane designed for efficient transportation of military and rescue operations. As you can see, the plane has amazing maneuverability because it combines the best qualities of an airplane and a helicopter. It is currently in development, but it's likely to replace the Black Hawk, the flagship helicopter used by the US Army, in the coming years. The Bell V280 Valor takes off at a steep angle and switches from helicopter to airplane mode in the air. It's designed to carry up to 14 people or carry loads of no more than 10 or 11 tons. HDT Hunter Wolf Today's first piece of equipment has been designed specifically for the needs of the military. It's a robotic platform from the American company HDT Global. The mobile system meets the needs and requirements of infantry soldiers. The details and features have been created with the soldiers in mind. The name of this device is Wolf, which means Wheeled Offload Logistics Follower. A stable six-wheeled base allows the platform to move even in aggressive conditions. Hunter Wolf can travel off-road on narrow roads, steep slopes, or even in the jungle. It is strong enough to carry up to 1,000 kilograms of cargo for 120 hours. Developing military vehicles is a difficult and risky job because the vehicle has to withstand a great number of tests. 
The Hunter Wolf demonstrated great results though. For example, the system demonstrated its resistance, overcoming 100 kilometers in 23 hours, six hours faster than the vehicle that came in second. Therefore, this robot will be of great support for the infantry. It will allow soldiers to travel longer distances while getting less tired. Lift Aircraft Hexa This amazing one-seater drone was shown by the American company Lift Aircraft several years ago. However, despite the rapid development of technology, Hexa looks more like a vehicle from a sci-fi movie about a distant future. Its design is interesting and eye-catching. 18 independent electric motors and propellers are in charge of the flight. The latter are the only moving parts of the entire vehicle, so the drone is highly stable and allows total control of the entire flight from takeoff to landing. In addition, the floats located in the lower part of the vehicle are responsible for the balance. The control is very simple and is done with the help of a joystick. Or you can activate the autopilot mode and let the computer take control of the vehicle. A large number of carbon fiber parts have reduced the weight of the Hexa to only 196 kilograms. At the same time, it can carry passengers weighing up to 113 kilograms and remain in the air for 10 or 15 minutes. But why is Hexa in our video today? The fact is that the vehicle interested the US Air Force. The ministers were present during the test flight, so eventually Hexa could become part of the country's military equipment. Bozina Riot Believe it or not, this vehicle is the most powerful riot control system in the world. When special services have to deal with an aggressive crowd, the lives of those on duty are in danger. Bazina Riot is designed to keep them safe. It looks like a huge moving shield, but it actually consists of three parts, a base structure weighing three tons and special tanks connected to two water cannons to push back the demonstrators. The shield is adjustable and can be used in a variety of situations. The minimum width is four and a half meters, but the sliding metal sheets can increase the width to seven and a half meters. The height is almost 4 meters. In addition, there's an elevator in the back, which can raise officers to a height of about 5 meters. The shield is thick, strong, and will protect the officers from Molotov cocktails and 7.26mm bullets. Bazina Riot will be useful in a variety of situations. For example, it's possible to block the passage or use the vehicle to destroy barricades. 